Hey guys, have you thought about getting a mini PC? Then you need to watch this video. Hey guys, your boy Junior here bringing another great video to the channel. So if this is your first time here, make sure you like all my videos, you share my videos, comment on my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Cause trust me guys, you never wanna miss out. Also guys, if you're a return subscriber, make sure you guys do all the same things cause that helps out the channel by ranking it up higher. So the more people that know about this, the more people don't miss out. That's the main reason it helps you out, it helps me out, same like that. All right, like I said in the beginning, have you thought about getting a mini PC? then I got a video for you today. Because today I am unboxing and reviewing the Melly Mini PC right here. This was sent by me by Millie. They sent it to me to promote it to you guys to show you what this is about. And from just looking at the box and reading what this has, I am very impressed with this mini PC so far. All right, I got to test and everything, but this is pretty good because you could do little little things here like if somebody wants to start out having a computer or you just want to have an extra computer for people to use when they come over this is great but the main reason why a mini pc is good for my people that like to use plex the only reason don't get me wrong there's a lot of nas devices you can use a lot of different devices you can use but mini pc is another thing you can use for your plex server all right because this, you can turn this, this into your Plex server alone, so you don't have to use any other computer or any other thing. You could, this is very quiet. You can put this behind the TV, mount it behind the TV, mount it anywhere, basically. Look how small, this is the box. This is the whole box for the whole mini PC. Look how small it is. So for you to have this behind your TV or anything, you're not even gonna tell it's in there. It's smaller than a regular Android box, put it that way. So with this, you can do a lot of things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and check it out, and then I'm gonna hook it up to my computer, well, to my monitor, and then we're gonna screen record everything so you guys can see how everything looks and every, how everything functions, what they have. All right, just to talk about the mini PC here, just a quick little things that they have. They do have different versions of this. Some with bigger hard drives, some with smaller hard drives, more RAM, slow RAM. But this one right here is the Melly, I hope I'm saying it right, the Quieter 3C model right here. This is a fanless mini PC, so you're not gonna hear any fans. So it's not gonna, like when you have a Plex on your computer, you hear the fans spinning up. You're not gonna hear like this is a fanless mini PC. All right, so how they really keep it cooled completely, I don't know if it's fanless, but hey, it, it, it's a fanless PC, all right. So a, a little bit of the specs that this one I have that I got right here. Um, this does come with a Windows 11 system in here, operating system. Uh, it's a Intel Serial Processor N5105. I don't know which gen is that or anything. It has a UHD Intel graphics card, which is like onboard graphics. So it's not like, wow, a 3080, a 3090, anything like that. So don't think this is like most powerful PC out there, no. <laughs> Let's just do light stuff on your com on computer when you need to. All right, this does come with a uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, DDR4 RAM with a 128 gig hard drive. So to do crazy stuff out here, nah. Like I keep saying it, you can either run a Plex server on here or you can use this as a secondary PC when people it's like, oh, let me do something on the computer. Let me do something online. I gotta check some stuff out. You can use this to have it for guests to use so you don't have to have people use your main PC when they come over your house or anything like that. So this is good to have just to everyday use. All right, uh, this does come with a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, this is Wi-Fi 6, so it's up to date. So this also does have a built-in Ethernet cable of 5.2 gigabyte. So if you wanna have it hard cord on here, there you go, you can connect it straight to your router, your motor, whatever, you know, if, you, if you don't wanna use wireless. So that works there for you. It does have three USB 3.0 and one USB Type-C plugins here for you guys to use. So it's not a little like garbage thing. You can actually do a lot of things with this. And also video output, and let you hook up, up to three monitors, guys. Three, not just one, two. They can, it's powerful enough to run three monitors. It has three audio, um, 
video inputs. As a USB-C input for video, HDMI, and a display port. A mini display port, not a full display port, but mini display port so you can hook up like the ones that the Apple users use. That's what the, the one they hook it up here. So you can hook up a three monitor, so that's not bad. I, I'm really impressed with that part about it. Uh, it has a three and a half millimeter jack for audio. If you want to hook up speakers to it, hook up headphones. There you go. Uh, expansion storage, it has uh, M.2 um, slot, so you can put an M.2 to expand the storage. So that's a good thing because I'm one that the 128 probably won't be enough. I'll probably go buy a one terabyte and just hook it up here and boom, I have a lot of space on here. I can do a lot of things on here. And it also has a micro SD slot. So if you want to have a removable storage space real quick, you can use a, a, a SD card, a micro SD card. So like the ones that the most cameras use and everything, boom, right there. So that's cool. All this in this little box. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and take a look at it, all right? So at the box, as you see, it has all the information here that I was just talking about. That you can hook up three monitors, type of USB port, it has a three uh, type C port, the gigabit ethernet cable slot, and it's flatless. It, has, it runs on Windows, HDMI, Intel. Uh, it says MIDI here. Here's the, all the specs on the mini PC right here. Uh, here it says Mili again. On the front, you, you were looking at it. It does have the picture of the mini PC right there. On the back, it has, has I guess, a disclaimer right here, part right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And then after we open it up and unbox it, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna hook up to the PC and then take a look on it, how everything operates. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up real quick here. Oh, I should take out the blade. Luckily, I, I forgot that I remember I had the blade. So we're going to open it up. All right. I'm going to open it up here. All right. So we're going to open it up here, as we see. All right. Let me put this down here. All right. Cool. So it's a very simple package. You know, here it's a box. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pop it open here. All right, so once we get it open, well, once or less, we don't want to break the box this way. All right, here we go. So opens up like this. As you see, it folds over here. You pop it open here on the sides. First thing it comes with in here, it's your guide right here. That's what it is, a little manual guide here. You open it up, guys. It gives you all the information on the mini PC, how to hook it up and everything. If you guys don't know how to do it, there you go. But I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to figure that out. All right, we'll put that there. Then right in the beginning, you get the mini PC right here. So we're gonna open this, pop this open here. And this is the mini PC. I'm gonna go over the rest of the stuff and the cables that comes with here in a second. All right, but I wanna bring this up to you guys so you guys can see what this looks like. All right, so here, you see in the back, you got the ethernet cable plug in here. Uh, this is your power cable right here between these two right there. Your HDMI right there. Uh, you got your display port right here. As you see, that's the mini display port right there. So you, those are the three connections you have for the display. Uh, you got your three and a half millimeter jack right there. And then you got your USB-C plug right here for any kind of external storage or anything. And if you flip it over to the side, you got three USB 3.0 plugs right there. And then on the other side over here, you have a slot to open up the device, which I'm gonna do eventually after I show you how it works, because I wanna see how it, the inside looks on this. Um, in the front, it just says Millie right there, and the power plug right, the power button right there, right there, see? As you can hear it. Um, and other than that, guys, there's nothing else to go over here. Oh, I almost missed it, because I was looking for that. Right up here, right above the three and a half millimeter jack, guys, I'm pretty sure you can see it. Uh, right there, you should, you should be able to see right there. That is the SD card slot right there. I almost missed that right there. So that's everything here. So the M.2 guys that I was talking about that you can expand it is actually inside here. So you have to actually open this up and you can put the M.2 because the M.2s are about that big, very thin. So I was hoping you could do that. And if you want, you do want to open this, it's only four screws, or is it four? Yeah, it's only four screws to do it. 
and each corner right here there's four screws to open it up so before i do open it up guys i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the computer so we can take a look at it real quick and see what this is all about all right all right so before we get over to the computer guys i you know because i have it right here i'm almost done with it before we get over to the computer i do want to show you the rest of the side in here and see what's inside here so we can take a look all right as you see we did take out the mini pc right here so once you pop this open right here you get more compartment down here all right so we're gonna clear this up right here all right so they do provide a bracket here so if you want to mount it somewhere on your tv the back of your tv or anywhere there's about a mounting bracket right here so it makes it easier you just mount this in the back of the mini pc and it comes with extra screws that you can just go ahead and just slide it on and everything so that's a good thing for that here is a universal plug depending what country you're from it'll work for you um because right here it, they do give you extra ports right here so for the us you guys know that we use two plugs right here we use this one right here so if you can see we use this type of plug right here and in the uk they use these plugs right here so this does work and even this is also like in in china japan they use these type of plugs sometimes i know in the philippines they use these right here they're almost like the us one all right and basically all you got to do yeah put this to the side here all right so all you got to do since i'm going to use the us one right here guys i'll take this in and you take this is the power plug right here and all you got to do is slide it in right here You, you stick it in right here. There's some slots there, and then you just slide it down. And boom. And to remove it, all you have to do is hit this button right here. I don't, just, just bring it up close to this button right here. You hit it, and you slide it out. And boom, it comes out. So again, you put it here, and you slide it in. And you're all done. There goes your power cable. I don't know if, if this would take enough power to run it as a USB-C to US, USB-A. And you can plug it into your, like your TV or something. I don't know if it'll, it'll let you take that much power, but you're more welcome to try. This is what it comes with. So I'm probably gonna test that on my own time if you could do that and see if that works. All right. So and like I mentioned earlier, here are the screws for the for the mounting bracket, and they also give you a double-sided tape here if you want to use that just to tape it on somewhere. You can use that uh let's see what else they got in here and i believe that's it this is just cushion parts yeah so that's everything that's inside this box guys for the mini pc right here so now let's go ahead and hook it up to the computer and show you how it operates all right let's go now all right guys so we're here on my computer as you see this is my computer setup right here i have everything ready to turn on everything so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the mini pc and then I'm gonna switch the screen and shrink myself down so we can take a look how the startup is. Right now I hooked up this little cheap keyboard that I have available. This is what I use for work. Instead of using my main um, keyboard and everything to use the my work computer, I use that. So that's why I have it all set up like this. It's, it's not the best keyboard in the world, but this is what I'm using for, just to test this out so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so let me go ahead and switch over. So right now, I it's a black screen because I got my capture card. So now I'm gonna boot it up, so you guys can see that it's gonna boot up right there. We'll give it a second for it to boot up. All right, as you see when you first turn it on, it says Intel right there. All right, so we just give it a second and see how everything boots up and how it looks. So that is, and this will be a great way to test how fast it boots up. So since it's all SSD, so it should boot up pretty fast. So I don't know how it's gonna look when I first boot it up because this is the first time me even turning it on. So it might tell me like, oh, please wait till we get everything set up for you. So if you do decide to buy this, you already have it, you know what steps you gotta do to take care of it. All right, so I'll give it a second to load it up. I'll probably fast forward this real quick so you guys don't have to deal with this because sometimes this does take a minute. All right, so as you see right there, it booted up right there. And it does take you through the prompts of setting it up for the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes here. All right, we want English. 
All right. All right. We're in, depending where you're at, you put whatever region you're in. I'm in the U.S. So everybody's that. All right. My U.S.A. right there. Yeah. Skip this part. We don't need to add any extra layouts. All right, so here's gonna ask me to connect to my uh, Wi-Fi. All right, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it right now. If I remember the password. <laughs> All right, let me see if it does. Oh, no, I don't want, why did it do that? All right, so. Oh, I see why. So I wasn't, the num, num locks wasn't working. Okay, so that's the reason why I was having a little bit of trouble there. Okay, it doesn't matter, I don't care. Yeah, secure. All right, so we're gonna let it do his updates. You always wanna let it do his updates, see if there's any updates available on here because just to make sure everything runs up to date and everything. So it should be up to date, but who knows? All right, then you just go through all the welcome message and everything, name your device. I'm just gonna name it mini PC. That's all I'm gonna name it. I don't really didn't care. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll skip for now. I don't need to name it. I really don't care for the name of the PC, honestly, to be honest. So I just, just skip now. So it's gonna put the that like generic like generate a, a PC name for it. Like it does the, you name it for your personal thing, not for anything else. So this is gonna be set up for personal use. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit personal use. Alright. And then this is actually going to log into my um, Microsoft account, which I don't have one, so I have to go ahead and create one. Give me a moment, I'll be right back with this. All right, so I did create an account as you saw, start to finish. I just created one, doesn't matter. And it asked me to create a pin. I don't really want to do this, but I guess I'll do it right now. Um, All right, so get it there. I don't know why it does all this to you to create it. Yeah, sure, you go through all these settings, privacy settings here, boom. And right, I'll skip this for now. I don't want all that. So you gotta go through all this setting. This is when you first install Windows on your PC. You gotta go through all this stuff. It's pretty annoying, but stuff you gotta do. All right, next. Even though I never use any of that stuff, the client is offering stuff like Windows will offer you every time. All this stuff, you know, Game Pass, you can install if you want. Try for a dollar a month, for the first three months for a dollar, and then after that it's $15.99, which is cool. So like another thing you can do with this mini PC is cloud gaming, that would be perfect. So if you want to have cloud gaming on your PC, on your TV or emulators, boom, right there, you can use this mini PC for that by using stuff like that. All right, so this takes a few minutes to update. We'll give it a second for it to update here. I, this is everything you do every time you set up a new computer. It's like this whole Windows update stuff. I, I don't like it. It's annoying. Just let me get to my thing. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Right, but I'll speed through this so you guys can see it faster so you don't have to wait this whole time Almost there <laughs> So it says almost there so I'll give it a second. All right, so there you go. This is Windows 11 uh, Everything's running looks good to run. So let's take a look at it and see how everything works here so let's see how the fast the internet. The only thing I have right now is Edge. I don't, because of course you saw me, I just turned it on for the first time. So confirm and continue here. Continue about this data, okay. Confirm and start browsing. All right, so let's go ahead and go to YouTube real quick. You're not gonna hear anything, but we're gonna go ahead and YouTube and see how fast everything plays. Uh, we'll go to my channel, of course. All right, we'll go straight to my channel here. As you see, my channel is right there. And then, as you see, everything's loading up really quick. Uh, let's see how it looks when we open it up here. How fast the internet is working on here, which is pretty fast. There's everything runs very smoothly, as you can see. I don't, even though this is just an ad, 
But there you go, guys. Look at that. It runs very smoothly. No, no buffering or nothing. Like you know, sometimes you have a slower computer and it really chops it up the video and everything. This doesn't do that, so that's awesome. I like it. Look at that. Look how good that looks. And I look good on it. And don't you think? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can hear it. You probably could. I don't know, but it's connected. I because I don't know if it's running the sound through the HDMI. So bear with me because I know it's playing sound on top. I can see it right here, but I don't know if you could hear it yet. But we're gonna leave it like that. All right. But that's so it's running really good. Um, you can run games on here. I wouldn't suggest you running heavy games. Uh, you probably could run a um, what's it called? Like Fortnite, um, like low games, low FPS games that wouldn't be uh, maybe Rocket League would run on here. Uh, but I wouldn't try to run any high FPS games. Like I say, Call of Duty, that's one thing I can think of right now. But let me go ahead and take a look and let's do a, a, a benchmark on here. User, I'm gonna download a software bench. Oh. I can't type for anything today. Okay, so we're gonna go here. All right, free, download it. So I could download it, open it up right there. All right, so we're gonna run it real quick and see how it runs. We're gonna take the, so right now, all I'm doing right now is running the benchmark on you so you can take, take a look at some of the numbers and what they have to offer. And shouldn't take that long since it's a brand new PC. There's not that many components to be running and it's a budget PC, very, very budget guys. That is not gonna really take up too much space or a lot of stuff they gotta run. And again, you could use this mini PC for many things. Like I mentioned earlier, you could do some light gaming. I wouldn't suggest gaming, but if you did, you want, you could. Um, you could use this as a Plex server. It's the main thing that I could think of that I would use it for as a Plex server itself. And then um you could run it as a secondary pc at your house just to run stuff when you don't want people to do use your main pc because i know my main pc i don't like nobody to really touch it so i keep it like that so right now it's running right now it's running all the graphics stuff and, and compared to the graphics on here to my main pc i could tell it's a big difference like the the graphic part here is choppy compared to my main pc my thing is so smooth when you do mine, but that was, that was pretty smooth there. But it's testing everything now, it's stress testing it, so it's gonna give us some good numbers here. Uh, it should be almost done, as you see. Okay, so yeah, it's not that that big of a chop, but it's choppy compared to what it is before. All right, so here is just to test your, your what's it called? Your accuracy here. I, I suck at this, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna skip this because I don't need this anymore. All right, so. Oh, now I gotta wait till the countdown's over. <laughs> uh, FPS is at eight. <laughs> if you look on the bottom right here, guys, right here it says uh, FPS is eight. So it's, yeah, it's not the best FPS for gaming like this. So that's why I said gaming on here is not ideal, but hey, you could do a little bit light gaming on here. All right, so. Okay, no, the FPS, okay, no, okay, I was wrong about it. So FPS, it went as high as 90 FPS, depending what you're playing there. All right, so why is it telling me to try again? I don't wanna try again, I wanna, I wanna be over. All right. All right, so I don't know, I'll get out of this here. All right, so I just had to get out of it. So all right, so now it's gonna tell me all the information here. All right, so we're gonna close this out. So you saw I brought up the thing here. So gaming, it wouldn't let you do gaming here okay so here benchmarking it the cpu it's average um the graphics card is very low again you're not gonna get great gaming experience off this mini pc like i keep telling you guys all right um it, it tells you the ram is okay it's average and you could try to check these game out see if you can play them simple as that i one game i wouldn't suggest you play not playing is cyberpunk you will not be able to run cyberpunk on here at all telling you right now all right so we checked out the web browser we did the benchmarks um we know we're over we went over all the specs and everything on here but now we're gonna go ahead and open up the pc and then take it from there and after that i'll give you my final thoughts
all right let's go and switch over all right guys so we're here on my on my desktop here well on my desk on the top of my desk <laughs> so you can say it's a desktop and we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see how the inside looks because I remember I did I did show, tell you that it does have an internal M.2 slot so you can upgrade and everything so we're gonna take a look at the inside this is the same box as you see all the ports are here the power thing you got the USB ports here, the back of it, the power button here, and let's take a look at it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unscrew this part here. Let me turn the screwdriver around real quick. All right, let's go ahead and take this open here. And once it's all open, then we should be good with this. It should be very simple to open it up and closing it. But I want to show you this part because this will show you how to install M.2 if you do want to upgrade and you just want to buy the smaller version like I mentioned earlier. All right, so that should pop down. Uh, all right, so, and then they have a little thing in here. Let me grab something here. This is the locking me mechanism inside. All right, let me see if I can get to it. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, there you go. So once you hit the locking mechanism right here, it's a locking mechanism, this, this part pops down. So if I put it here, it doesn't pop down. Oh yeah, now it pops down. But if you click on here, it, it pops open. All right, so there you go. So here we go, this is the whole, the whole motherboard. So this is a 128 internal built-in memory on hard drive so if you want to expand the hard drive on this and as you see right here is where you put the m.2 so i'm going to go ahead and grab my m.2 and then show you how to install it so i have an extra m.2 here this is not a big one right here this is only a 512 gigabyte so remember the model that i got was 120 gigs hard drive space it's already built into that like i'm turn it's built into the motherboard itself so if you want to expand it to have more space you can just use this get an m.2 whatever space you want i got this this one right here it's a 512 gigabyte so i'm gonna bring it up close so you guys can see you can see all right so now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it so basically when you open it up all you have to do is take the m.2 put it in here in the slot once you put it in the slot you gotta take off this screw first All right, so once you do that, okay. Once you put it in right here, you just put it down right there and then you screw it down. Very, very simple. And then screw this down right here. Oh, if I could get this to do it properly for me, that'd be great. All right. All right, there we go. So I'm lucky I had, a, I had an extra one so I could show you how to do it. And boom, guys, that's simple. Now, I just went from a 128 gigabyte mini PC and just added 512, and that gave me 640 gigs of space right there. Now it'll miss it up. And this one, this 512 hard drive, probably cost like 60, 70 bucks, not that much. A one terabyte costs about 90 to $100. So it's not that, these M.2s are not that expensive as they were before so boom there you guys go you can do that uh if you can upgrade the ram i wish they could but they you, this you cannot upgrade it i don't know if you could from by opening the other side here on this side there might be some ram chips or anything i'm not too sure but i don't think there is but if you want to take it apart you're more than welcome to if you ever need to reset your bios and everything and you need to take out the the battery this is the battery right here and that plug is right there. So all you gotta do is unplug it, plug it back in, and that's simple. All right, so again, that's the batteries right here, as you saw, and the plug is right there. We'll take it from there. All right, so I think that's it. That I go, went over here, how to do the M.2, how to open it up, and basically you do everything in reverse. You close it back up, and you put the screws right back in. That's simple. All right, let's go back and give you my final thoughts on this mini PC. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. Okay, we did everything on this PC. We tested it. 
in and out we open it up we test bench everything we try some things out we didn't did everything but again just testing out for you guys to check it out now is this a great pc to have yes and no yes because i have a secondary pc just for family use be great uh, to have sec to run a plex server run great but to do full gaming on this pc no all right it's a good pc to have just have like a cement key matching like a plex server or a second pc for family members and friends to use if you don't want them to use your main rig awesome awesome how much is the device this is not too bad for what it does and how much it has it's about 280 dollars that's it guys if you want to get this mini pc i'll leave a link down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out thank you again merely for sending this out to me for me to re review it and present it to my subscribers go ahead and check them out guys it's a very 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 good device to have as a secondary thing. like i said i might use it as my plex server but i already have my router as a plex server right? so i might have to set this one out in the living room for anybody that comes over they want to use a pc they can use this very very simple uh, and that's it guys that's what i have to show you today i hope you guys appreciate this review and this unboxing if you enjoyed this unboxing go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel also don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring and we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing also guys if you have any questions comments or concerns put them in the comment box down below i'll get to you as soon as i can when i can as fast as i can and if you still haven't done so to the end of this video Go and hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me guys, you never ever want to miss out. And until next time guys, I'm out of here. Peace.